This tutorial covers the basic features of EMEM effects memory on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. This tutorial is designed to show how to get the switcher into a known state and how to learn and recall ME effects setups and effects dissolves. When sitting down at the switcher, it is impossible to know what the current state of all of the switcher parameters are without either recalling a known effect or recalling the default state. Learning into EMEM registers remembers the current state of the selected parts of the switcher. The current state is also called the working buffer. To clear the working buffer to a known state for an ME or the entire switcher, there is a clear working buffer button often referred to as CWB. This button is located in the master EMEM panel under the EMEM edit mode of the module or in the timeline edit submenu. Pressing the CWB button will clear the current working state of the currently enabled master EMEM levels. Clearing the working buffer does not modify any effects stored in any EMEM. So before pressing the clear working buffer button, verify the parts of the switcher that you wish to clear before pressing the button. Pressing Select All will select all EMEM levels and allow all EMEM controlled parameters to be cleared. The state that the selected parts of the switcher are restored to is determined by the selection made in the user setups, suite prefs, default keyframe page. The choices are the fixed factory default settings or an operator learned setting. Choosing factory default will allow the next CWB operation to return the selected part of the switcher to the factory state. A new CWB state is set by first setting the switcher to the desired state and pressing the Learn button in the menu. This will store the current state of the switcher for use on the next use of the CWB button. We will use the factory default state. Note that pressing the CWB does not change any sources on the selected parts of the switcher. Pressing CWB once sets all of the parameters to the default state except for the keyers. The keyers are set to either on or off as set by the default state. But the key mode, such as chroma key or preset pattern and their parameters are not changed. Double pressing the CWB, however, clears all of the selected ME parameters, including all the keyer parameters, to their default states. It is also possible to clear an individual source's parameters to the default state without changing the rest of the switcher by holding down a source button while pressing CWB. Note that this operation overrides the master EMM level selection and works with any one source at a time. The CWB user learn state is saved as part of the suite prefs file. The clear working buffer state is a good starting place for anyone new to switcher operations. We will select ME1 and learn a simple wipe effect. Start by selecting ME1A on program and ME1's preview output on the switched preview bus. Select only the ME1 level on the master EMEM panel and press the CWB button. Select any two sources on the A and B background buses for ME1. Choose page zero and bank three to work in. Press Learn and EMEM number 0. This will learn the current state into register number 30. As you are starting from the factory default state, ME1 will be in the background mix mode and all of the keys will be off. Choose two different sources on the A and B buses and select Wipe 1 on the transition panel. Move the fader arm on ME1 to be somewhere on screen. Press Learn and EMEM number 1. This will learn the current state of the ME1 effect into register 31. The number 1 button will light up indicating the learn has been performed. Recall the effect previously stored in register 30 by pressing number 0. 
ME1 will return to background mix mode with the sources you previously used reselected on the A and B buses. Press button 1 to recall register 31 that has just been learned. The ME will again instantly recall the sources selected, return the ME transition mode to wipe 1 and position the wipe transition to the position that was stored in the effect. We'll now store another effect. Recall register 30 again by pressing the zero and turn on key 1 by pressing the key 1 hot key button. Choose a suitable source on the key 1 bus for ME1. In the keyer menu for key 1 of ME1, set the key mode to preset pattern and choose a circle wipe in the wipe pattern menu. Turn the wipe border on and set the pattern border color to red with the matte controls. Then position the circle in the upper left hand corner of the screen and set it to a suitable size. Learn this state into register 32 in the same bank by pressing Learn, 2. Recalling registers 1 and 2 should now switch between registers 31 and 32 and recall the two learned states. While EMEMs can be used to store any ME's conditions, wipes are used in these examples because they are more easily visible than many other key elements. Now that we can store some simple effects, let's move on to effects dissolves. Effects Dissolves provide a simple way to transition into a register. Adjust the wipe size to be fully off screen. Press Effects Dissolve, then register 2. The wipe will transition to the stored effect size and position. Repeat the sequence again, this time adjusting the wipe border color, border width, wipe size, and wipe position. Pressing Effects Dissolve, then Register 2, will cause all variable parameters to change back to their stored values using the transition rate of the Effects Dissolve. While this is not technically a dissolve or a mix operation, the term Effects Dissolve here refers to a change of any variable parameters over time. It is possible to change the Effects Dissolve rate and store an Effects Dissolve into an EMEM register. If a second wipe position and size is stored, it is possible to dissolve between the two registers. Recall register 32. Reposition the preset wipe pattern, size, border width and color. Store this in register 33 by pressing learn and 3. To dissolve between the registers, press effects dissolve, then register button 2. The wipe will dissolve back to the registered 32 conditions. Press Effects Dissolve and button 3. The effect will dissolve back to the conditions in register 33. To add an Effects Dissolve to a register, press Learn, Effects Dissolve, and the register name. To add a Dissolve into register 32, first recall the register by pressing 2, then relearn the register by pressing Learn. Effects Dissolve and Register Button 2. Pressing Button 3 and then Button 2 will now start an Effects Dissolve transition from Register 33 to the state in Register 32. To change the Effects Dissolve Rate, press the Learn and Effects Dissolve buttons, then press Rate, enter the transition rate required, and press Enter before pressing the register number to perform the Learn. When learning into a register, it is important to remember that a learn operation will erase any existing contents of that register. There is no undo function for when a register learn has been performed. It is recommended that effects are backed up to a storage location on a regular basis in case the effects are accidentally erased. Effects stored in the switcher are backed up periodically to Compact Flash as part of the background task to protect against power interruptions. Remember that by default, EMEM registers store the entire state of all ME parameters, including IDPM parameters for all the selected parts of the switcher and can be used to either instantly recall or transition to those states. Refer to additional tutorials regarding timelines and sequences. This completes the tutorial on the basic features of EMEM.